Welcome to our video course on social art. Module 1. What is social art? After the completion of the module the learner will be able to understand different forms of social art and associated art movements. Analyze social art works through their historical, cultural, and social contexts. Explore the different methods artists use to create social art. Investigate the different ways in which social art can be used to promote social and political causes. Discuss the limitations and challenges of social art. Encourage students to reflect on their own social engagement and explore ways to create their own social art. Learning themes and topics. How to define art. When does art become social? Types of art and mediums used in social art, impacts and challenges of social art. Art plus people plus actions equals social art. Introduction. Social art is an art movement that aims to use art to address social, political and environmental issues. It can take many forms, from murals to documentary films to theatrical performances to art installations. In this course, we will explore the history of social art, the different types of art and mediums used in this movement, and the themes commonly addressed. We will also look at some contemporary examples of social art and discuss the impact of these works on society. How to define art. What is art? Art is a diverse human activity that involves creating visual, auditory or scenic works, expressing the author's imaginative, conceptual or technical ideas, intended to be appreciated for their beauty or emotional power. Art can be classified into different categories, such as visual art, which includes painting, sculpture and printmaking, and decorative art, which includes ceramics, furniture and jewelry. It can also be divided into specialized areas, such as visual arts, performing arts and literary arts. Art is often considered a form of communication, allowing the artist to convey emotions, ideas and thoughts through his or her work. However, art is also a way to express oneself creatively and to escape from everyday reality. Art can be inspiring, comforting, provocative or simply entertaining. Since ancient times, art has been a way for humans to document their history, culture and environment. Works of art are often seen as witnesses to the times, reflecting the beliefs, values and concerns of their time. Ultimately, art is a subjective concept, meaning that what is considered art to some people may not be to others. It depends on one's own experience and interpretation of the work of art. What is art, seems like a very simple question, which has nevertheless remained without a universal answer even now. Although it is not particularly difficult to agree on the artistic nature, or not, of an object, it is less obvious to define art in itself, without attaching it to any work to put as an example. If we want to try to define art, some might say that art is the creation of beautiful, phenomena or, aesthetic, forms in a dispassionate mind. The problem with this first definition is that it brings out the subjective aspect of each term that we can use to define art. Like the term, beautiful, which refers to beauty, a concept in itself thorny to deconstruct even if thanks to Oscar Wilde, we have this quotation to start the debate. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. In reality, it seems that at first, the intention of an artist is not trying to create something useful and as such is not trying to make a profit. 
The etymology here can be misleading. Art, actually comes from the Latin, ars, which corresponds to the Greek word, techni, meaning art and technique. Technology today teaches a set of processes and transferable rules to control nature and improve our way of life. The issue of art is related to beauty, which does not suit the technician. Art does not equal useful? Through this outlet which is art and through the artist's creativity, the artists propose their perception of their reality to the public. It is up to the public to seize it, and, according to their sensibility, their tastes and their culture, to reinterpret the artistic production and to appropriate it. It is the lookers that make the paintings. Thus art awakens the senses, generates more or less positive emotions, and sharpens the perception and the critical spirit. Studies by neuroscientists have further validated this postulate. Art allows us to live healthier and longer. Through practice or contemplation, the arts allow the body to secrete, among other things, hormones of pleasure and well-being that contribute to the maintenance of good health, and even to its improvement. Art, in all its forms of expression and appreciation, is increasingly recommended as a preventive measure and as an accompaniment to more classic treatment protocols. Some operations are even performed to music as a complement to local or general anesthesia to soothe patients. Art has been a subject of debate for many centuries. Some see art as a form of entertainment or distraction, while others see it as an important force for culture and humanity. There are those who argue that art is useful because it can help us understand and express our emotions, thoughts and ideals. Art can also be used as a means to create beauty and inspiration, as well as to provoke thought and reflection on important issues. On the other hand, there are those who argue that art is not useful because it does not serve an immediate practical purpose. Some even consider that art is useless and that the money spent on it could be better spent on more important causes. Ultimately, whether or not art is useful depends on one's perspective. For some, art may be a source of joy and personal fulfillment, while for others it may seem unnecessary or even superfluous. Whatever the case, it is undeniable that art has played and continues to play an important role in human history and in our daily lives. Among other things, it first satisfies aesthetic needs, providing selfless satisfaction as opposed to primary needs. Aesthetics is subjective and related to pleasure. Moving from one culture to another is like moving from one person to another. The formation of taste is unique to the individual and includes an open education that includes various explorations of the world of art and creativity. Perhaps it is possible to do without art, but beauty moves the mind to another intellectual realm. The imaginary framework offers an opportunity to escape from reality, to discover and grasp other spheres and other concepts, as well as to discover works, to question one's view of the world without prejudice. Art is also a creator of values, where people identify themselves by taste and culture and form a group. These can be aesthetic values or important values that we share that create a common experience. In order to illustrate the importance of art and the link with the social aspect of it, you are encouraged to watch this TED Talk on, Why Art is Important, by Katerina Gregos. All art is quite useless, wrote Oscar Wilde in his preface, The Picture of Dorian Gray. It goes without saying that his bon mots are always quite tongue-in-cheek. But what I want to draw your attention to here is the word quite. It indicates that declaring art as utterly useless was a step too far, even for Wilde. How to better explain, then, that art is something of an unnecessary necessity?
She mentions Nietzsche's point of view. We have art in order not to perish from the truth. As seen earlier, we need art. We need beauty to feel good. We need to build up our imagination. We need somewhere to escape from reality. However, in what seems to go in the total opposite of this idea of escaping from reality, more and more artists claim to be inspired by this said reality. Art can be seen as only dedicated to the privileged. Only the most fortunate can afford certain pieces of art, an education where they are made aware of the history of art etc. It may seem like a waste of time to people whose situation would not allow for the kind of futility that one might see in art. Going to the cinema, to the museum, to the theater, seems unthinkable for some less comfortable part of the population. But this perception of art is only the tip of the iceberg of what art can afford. When does art become social? A social art practice is recognized by the fact that the true canvas of the social artist is the individuals, groups and communities affected by the intervention and that the artistic mediums mobilized in the interventions are only tools to await this desired transformation. Origins of social art, engaged art, art for art, etc. Social art is an art movement that focuses on social and political issues and uses art to raise awareness of these issues and to call for social change. Social art has a long history dating back to antiquity, but has seen a resurgence of interest in recent decades. Social art has been used since antiquity to critique existing governments and political systems. For example, in ancient Greece, tragedies and comedies were used to criticize rulers and public policies. Similarly, in the Roman Empire, artists used their works to criticize abuses of power and social inequality. Over the centuries, social art has continued to evolve and adapt to different forms of social and political struggle. In the 18th century, for example, the Romantic movement in Europe saw artists use their art to critique social inequalities and political injustices. In the 20th century, social art has seen a resurgence of interest due to large protest movements such as civil rights in the United States and peace and anti-war movements around the world. Many artists use their art to raise awareness of these issues and to call for social change. Today, social art continues to be an important way to raise awareness of social and political issues and to call for change. Many artists use their art to criticize social inequality, discrimination and abuse of power, and to promote justice and equality for all. Social art is a concept that appeared at the end of the 19th century in the wake of social demands. This idea is part of a modernist approach in the West valuing the arts useful to society and opposing the concept of art for art and academic art. Some artists of the avant-garde joined the concept on a theoretical and educational level. The architects and the artists craftsmen of the art trades are the main contributors to the developments of the various artistic movements and aesthetic proposals transforming the framework of social life from 1890 to 1960. The end of modernity and artistic avant-gardes and the advent of a highly aestheticized public space in the middle of the 20th century opened new artistic paths as contemporary art that breaks with the tradition of the fine arts. In this context, social art takes a new direction by focusing on community lifestyles and societal issues. It is no longer habitat, furniture and beautiful utilitarian objects that interest artists, but rather art and life the artistic and aesthetic experience in public space, action in a creative process with communities, collaborations and sharing of ideas that can positively transform both artists and non-artists. The imaginary framework offers an opportunity to escape from reality, to discover and grasp other spheres and other concepts, as well as to discover works, to question one's view of the world without prejudice. 
Social art is the attempt to address and or recognize a particular social issue using art and creativity. What is a social artist? Social artists collaborate with their community to bring about change through their creative talents. A social artist uses their talents to support and enhance communities, as opposed to a traditional artist who uses their creativity to communicate their perspective on the world. Therefore, a social artist's primary goals are to advance society as a whole and aid others in discovering their own forms of artistic expression. Social issues like youth alienation or community deterioration may be addressed by social artists. Social artists frequently use art to bring people together and build understanding of one another. They also assist people in finding their voice and in expressing themselves. Social artistry can incorporate several different art forms including theater, poetry, music and visual art. In an article entitled Looking Back, Looking Forward, Arts-Based Careers and Creative Work written by Elizabeth L. Lingo, Stephen J. Tepper, they explained that. Instead of an artistic career organized to optimize opportunities for individual creativity, Artists instead seek to be socially engaged in their communities. They see themselves as educators, social workers, policy actors, and health providers, Lena Cornfield, 2008, Simons, 2013, Throsby Zednick, 2011. They go on stating that according to a recent story in the New York Times, practitioners freely blur the lines among object making, performance, political activism, community organizing, environmentalism and investigative journalism, creating a deeply participatory art that often flourishes outside the gallery and museum system, Kennedy, 2013, page AR1. A social artist is an artist who uses his or her art to raise awareness of social and political issues and to call for social change. A social artist can be a painter, sculptor, photographer, musician, writer, or any other type of artist who uses their art to address social and political issues. They can use their art to criticize social inequality, discrimination and abuse of power, and to promote justice and equality for all. Social artists can also use their art to inspire and encourage people to take action and make positive changes in their lives and communities. Many social artists work in collaboration with human rights organizations and volunteer groups to use their art to raise awareness for important causes. They may also use their art to organize fundraising events and to support projects that aim to improve the lives of people in their community. Ultimately, a social artist is an artist who uses their art to make a positive difference in the world and to inspire people to take action and make positive changes. The imaginary framework offers an opportunity to escape from reality, to discover and grasp other spheres and other concepts, as well as to discover works, to question one's view of the world without prejudice. Uh, I'm a humanitarian, I'm an artist, a photographer, a strange human. Types of art and mediums used in social art. Literature, poetry, drama, story. Social art in literature is a literary movement that focuses on social and political issues and uses literature to raise public awareness of these issues and to call for social change. Social art in literature has a long history dating back to antiquity, but has seen a resurgence of interest in recent decades. In antiquity, many writers used their work to criticize existing governments and political systems. 
For example, in ancient Greece, tragedies and comedies were used to criticize rulers and public policies. Similarly, in the Roman Empire, writers used their works to criticize abuses of power and social inequality. Over the centuries, social art and literature has continued to evolve and adapt to different forms of social and political struggle. In the 18th century, for example, the Romantic movement in Europe saw writers using their art to critique social inequalities and political injustices. In the 20th century, social art and literature has seen a resurgence of interest due to large protest movements such as civil rights in the United States and peace and anti-war movements around the world. Many writers used their art to raise awareness of these issues and to call for social change. Today, social art and literature continues to be an important way to raise public awareness of social and political issues and to call for change. Many writers use their art to criticize social inequality, discrimination, and abuse of power, and to promote justice and equality for all. SLAM is a literary and artistic movement that emphasizes performance and personal expression. It is characterized by public readings of poems or short texts, often accompanied by music or dance. SLAM is distinguished by its interactive and participatory nature, with the audience often invited to vote for their favorite performance. SLAM has roots in African oral poetry and emerged in the 1980s in the United States, quickly becoming a global movement. It has developed as an alternative art form, providing a platform for often marginalized voices in society. In SLAM, Participants are encouraged to share personal stories and explore deep and complex themes in their work. SLAM aims to create an inclusive community and promote the empowerment of individuals by giving them a voice. Today, SLAM is present in many cities around the world and has become an ever-evolving artistic movement. It continues to provide a platform for self-expression and to spark important conversations about social and political issues. Miss Gale's Five Steps to Slam Poetry A Lesson of Transformation Step 1 Write it all down. Take one memory. Explore it like a new land, the visiting poet tells the class. Don't leave anything out. Tyler sits in this high school workshop, dizzy with where to start. Memories wander in and out of his heart like vagrants searching for home. He bends to his desk. He writes, The snow goes black when the moon... Visual arts, painting, drawing, sculpture, Graphic Arts, Modeling Visual art in social art refers to the use of art to critique or comment on society and its structures. The social artist may use various forms of visual art, such as painting, sculpture, installation, photography and performance, to express their views on topics such as politics, social injustice, the environment and popular culture. The social artist often seeks to provoke a reaction or debate in the public by highlighting complex social issues. This art can be politically charged and engaging, and may aim to raise awareness of important social issues or to inspire action. In the history of art, many artists have been considered social artists, such as Francisco Goya, Keita Kolwitz, Pablo Picasso and Banksy. Their works have often reflected the social and political concerns of their time and have helped change public attitudes and perceptions. Today, visual art in the social artist continues to be a powerful means of raising public awareness of social issues and bringing about positive change in society. Many contemporary artists use their art to address issues such as racism, women's rights, economic inequality and the environment. Visual art in the social artist aims to use art to inspire social change and create a more just and equitable society for all.
Same as literature, it is important for the participant to take part in the elaboration of the definition and to see at first what their point of views are. Here some examples of visual arts, such as industrial design, graphic design, fashion design, interior design, decorative art. The mural, Los Muros Hablan, The Walls Speak, by the Mexican artist collective, Morales de la Ciudad de Mexico, Murals of Mexico City, that addresses topics such as migration, the environment, and cultural identity. Installations. The building, by American conceptual artist Joseph Kossuth which consists of a photograph of a building and an explanatory text about the differences between the real object and its conceptual representation. Documentary Photographs. Migrant Mother, by American photographic artist Dorothea Lange which shows a woman and her children during the Great Depression in California, and has become a symbol of the economic and social impact of that period. Paintings and Drawings. Guernica, by Spanish artist Pablo Picasso which depicts the effects of war on civilians and was created in response to the aerial attack on the city of Guernica during the Spanish Civil War. Digital Media Arts. Video, Photography. Digital media art is a form of artistic expression that uses digital technologies to create works of art. This can include the use of video editing software, 3D graphics, digital photography, and electronic music, as well as other technological tools. In social art, digital media art is often used to raise awareness of social issues and to bring about positive change in society. Artists can use these technologies to create interactive and immersive artworks that engage the audience and prompt action. For example, a social artist might use video editing software to create a viral video that highlights a specific social issue, such as racism or economic inequality. Or, they could use 3D graphics to create an immersive installation that immerses the audience in a virtual reality experience that addresses a social issue. Digital media arts offer many opportunities for social art, as they allow artists to create work that is accessible and immersive to the audience. By using these technologies in creative ways, artists can raise awareness of social issues in a powerful and interactive way. Here are some examples of digital art in social art with names of works and names of artists. Websites. The Yes Men, by the American collective artist of the same name who uses misinformation and satire techniques to highlight social and environmental issues. Online videos. Coney 2012, by the U.S. nonprofit organization Invisible Children, which aims to raise awareness about the violence committed by Ugandan warlord Joseph Coney and urge his arrest. Mobile apps. I'm here by South African artist Zanel Maholi which consists of a mapping app that allows LGBT plus people to report acts of discrimination and violence they have experienced. Video games. Papers, please, by American independent artist Lucas Pope that puts the player in the role of a customs officer in an authoritarian regime and explores themes of morality and individual responsibility. Virtual Reality. The Enemy, by Syrian artist Omar Abdulaziz that uses virtual reality to allow users to step into the shoes of Syrian refugees and experience their daily lives. Conceptual and Public Art. Conceptual art is an art form that focuses on the idea or concept behind the artwork rather than its physical form or appearance. Conceptual artists often use mediums such as text, photography, video and performance to express their ideas. In social art, conceptual art can be used to critique or comment on complex social issues and provoke thought in the audience. For example, an artist might use text or photographs to expose gender or racial inequalities in society, or they might use performance art to highlight environmental issues. Public art, 
also known as street art or urban art, is a form of art that is presented in public spaces, such as streets, parks and plazas. Public art can include murals, sculptures, installations and performances. In social art, public art can be used to raise awareness of social issues and to create collective awareness. For example, an artist might use a mural to convey a political message, or they might use a performance to highlight gender inequalities. By using conceptual art and public art in creative ways, social artists can reach a wide audience and spark debate about important issues. These art forms offer a unique platform for social expression and can help bring about positive change in society. Here are some examples of conceptual art and public art in social art with work names and artist names. Conceptual art. One in Three Chairs, by American artist Joseph Kosseth, which consists of an actual chair, a photograph of that chair and a definition of the word, chair, printed on a panel. This work questions the notion of reality and representation. Public Art. The Waterfall, by American artist Mary Miss which consists of an artificial waterfall installed in New York City and aims to raise awareness about water management in cities. Conceptual Art. The Condition of Postmodernity, by American artist Hal Foster which consists of a series of texts that analyze the impact of postmodernity on art and culture. Public Art. The Gates, by American artist Christo and his wife Jean Claude which consists of an installation of 7,500 orange canvas gates installed in New York's Central Park. This work was created to highlight the importance of public space in cities. Conceptual Art. The Death of Art, by American artist Lawrence Wiener, which consists of a sentence printed on a panel that states that, art is dead. This work questions the value and relevance of art in our society. Performing Arts, Theater, Dance, Music. Performing art is a form of artistic expression that includes live performances, such as dance, music, theater and street art. In social art, performance art can be used to raise awareness of social issues and bring about positive change in society. Performing artists can use their platform to highlight important issues and elicit a response from the audience. For example, a dance group could create a performance that addresses the topic of racial injustice, or a music group could use their concert to raise awareness about environmental issues. Performance art can also be used to build community and bring people together around an important message. For example, a music festival could be organized to support a specific social cause, or a theater company could create a play that addresses a complex social issue. Performance art provides a unique platform for social expression and can be used creatively to raise awareness of social issues and inspire social change. Here are some examples of scenic art in social art with names of works and names of artists. Theater the Vagina Monologues, by American author Eve Ensler which is a series of monologues that explore women's experiences with sexuality and violence. Dance. Breaking the Silence, by American artist Bill T. Jones which is a dance piece that addresses the theme of AIDS and loss. Opera. X by American artist Anthony Davis which is an opera that explores themes of race and criminal justice in the United States. Circus. No Borders by Cirque Eloise which is a circus show that highlights the realities of refugees and immigration.
Musical. Rent by American playwright Jonathan Larson which tells the story of young performers living in New York City during the AIDS epidemic of the 1990s and addresses themes of poverty, illness and discrimination. A famous example of social art that aims to use art to address social issues such as poverty, inequality and injustice is the series of photographs, How the Other Half Lives, by Jacob Rees, published in 1890. These photographs documented the living conditions of poor immigrants in New York City at the time, and helped raise awareness of poverty and social injustice in the city's working-class neighborhoods. Today, many social artists use social networks and online platforms to disseminate their work and raise awareness of social issues. For example, Iranian artist Sharzad Kamel uses photographs and videos to highlight gender and women's rights issues in his country. Importantly, social art can also be used to promote positive change and create supportive communities. For example, the Art Place project in the Watts neighborhood of Los Angeles uses art to bring local residents together and help them build a stronger, more cohesive community. Political and environmental issues Social art is an art movement that emphasizes the creation of artworks that address social, political and environmental issues. Artists working in this field seek to raise awareness of issues in our society and to provoke thought about possible solutions. Political issues are often addressed in social art, whether it be criticizing social inequality, corruption, discrimination or armed conflict. For example, the French artist Junior has created artworks that highlight refugees and migrants, photographing them and installing them in public places to show their human face and highlight their vulnerable situation. Environmental issues are not left out of social art. Artists often use recycled materials or ecological techniques to create their works, while raising public awareness of issues related to the preservation of nature and the fight against global warming. For example, American artist Chris Jordan has created works that show the impact of overconsumption on the environment, using images of waste and residue from industrial products. In sum, Social art is an effective way to address political and environmental issues, raising awareness and inviting the public to think about possible solutions. It is a powerful tool to advance social causes and to contribute to the construction of a more just and environmentally friendly world. Identity and cultural diversity Social art deals with many themes, including identity and cultural diversity. According to author and art critic, Richard Walheim, social art is a way to represent social and political concerns in society, Walheim, 1980. Artists often use their work to explore issues of identity and cultural diversity, highlighting the experiences and perspectives of marginalized groups. One of the most common ways to address these themes is to highlight the stories of people from marginalized communities, such as people of color, LGBTQIA people, women, and people of foreign descent. By using techniques such as photography, video, and performance, artists can give voice to these communities and make them visible in a dominant cultural context. Harper, 2018. Additionally, social art can also be used to critique systems of oppression that maintain social and cultural inequalities. For example, Artist Coco Fusco uses performance art to expose stereotypes and prejudices related to Latino identity by staging situations that expose the effects of exclusion and discrimination. Fusco, 1992. Finally, social art can also be used to promote inclusion and cultural diversity. For example, the collective artist Urban Bush Women uses dance and performance to create spaces for dialogue and gathering between marginalized communities and the general public. Urban Bush Women, 2021. In sum, social art plays an important role in representing identity and cultural diversity, giving voice to marginalized groups, critiquing systems of oppression, and promoting inclusion and cultural diversity. 
Discuss the limitations and challenges of social art. Social art is a practice that uses art to address social issues and raise awareness of those issues. While this practice has potential benefits, it also has limitations and challenges. One of the most common limitations of social art is that it can be difficult to measure its impact. It can be difficult to determine if an artwork has actually had an impact on people and the social issues it addresses. It can also be difficult to measure the long-term effectiveness of social art projects. Another limitation of social art is that it can be perceived as a distraction or form of entertainment rather than a serious solution to social problems. People may see social art as a way to relax or pass the time rather than as a way to solve important social problems. In addition, social art can be expensive in terms of time and resources. Social art projects can require significant funding to cover production and promotional costs, and they can take a long time to develop. There are also ethical challenges associated with social art, such as the risks of being taken advantage of or publicized by artists or institutions, or the risks of clumsiness or inconsideration of participants. Despite these limitations and challenges, there are reasons to believe that social art can have a positive impact on social problems. Art can be a powerful way to raise awareness of social problems and to inspire people to take action to address them. It can also help people express their feelings and experiences, and connect with one another. It is important to note that it is difficult to generalize the effectiveness of social art across social contexts, so it is necessary to evaluate it on a case-by-case -case basis, and to take into account the limitations and challenges mentioned above. It is also important to work closely with the communities involved, and to take their needs and perspectives into account when implementing social art projects. Impact of Social Art on Society Social art is an art form that aims to raise awareness of social, political or ecological issues, or to promote positive changes in society. It can take many forms, such as street art, performance, installation, theater, music, photography, film, etc. Social art often seeks to provoke thought or awareness in viewers, rather than simply provide entertainment. It can be used as a means of denouncing inequalities, fighting discrimination, supporting social movements, etc. Social art can also be a way to create links and exchanges between people, by allowing social issues to emerge in a playful and interactive way. It can also contribute to strengthening collective identity and creating meaning for individuals. Social art is often considered as a means of protest and rebellion, but it can also be used as a means of proposing and building new alternatives. It can also be used as a tool of mediation and dialogue to resolve social conflicts. Finally, social art can be a vector of change on its own, but it can also be used as a complement to other actions, demonstrations, awareness campaigns, lobbying, etc., to achieve specific social or political objectives.